Welcome friends to World Drum Club. I am really excited about this video because I want to share with you how, as a percussionist and musician, we can create sound effects for movies, for example, and TV shows with our instruments. This is a 26-inch Peisty Symphonic Gong, and I'm going to be showing you several spooky, crazy sound effects that we create using pretty much everyday objects uh, that I think you'll find really surprising. So the first batch, I've got several things I'm going to play for you. The first batch of things are basically they're like aerosol can tops. Like this is from a paint can. This is from some glue. This is from some carburetor cleaner. <laughs> so these are just plastic tops, pl plastic lids. And I've got the gong mic'd closely, obviously, with a nice road tube mic. I'm going to play these for you. And I'm making a spooky Halloween soundtrack because I have this idea for creating a spooky soundtrack for when we give out Halloween candy. Um, and I'm going to make a video too, but that's another, that's another video. Uh, right now I'm going to show you what these sound like. So if you don't like the sound of fingernails on a chalkboard, you can <laughs> go fast forward or turn the volume down. Uh, I'm going to start off with the biggest one and then we'll go smaller. So what I've done also is I put a little bit of rosin. This is like bow rosin, violin or cello bow rosin. And I put a little bit on the surface here, um, also on the cap, to just give it a little more grab. And um, this is experimental. I'm not an expert at this, but I want to show you. So there might be some misses, but let's, let's see what this sounds like. I'm just going to take this top and drag it along the face of the gong. All right, pretty horrible. <laughs> Let's go to the next size down. This is a little bit smaller. And it's gonna bring out different tones, different frequencies. Believe it or not, this is a musical instrument too, so all of this requires some technique. So I'm experimenting right now, trying to find the notes. All right, let's go to this little tiny guy and see what he sounds like. Why is it a he? So you can see the potential there. This to me is like rat sounds or something really creepy, super creepy. And um, it's just a little plastic top, but I did put a little bit of uh, the rosin on there. Yeah, amazing. Uh, we're gonna move on because there's lots of sounds I wanna share with you. Uh, another common one, and you can find this if you search around gong sounds. Um, some of the gong healer people even use this technique, which has been around a long time. It's basically, 
a super ball or rubber, some kind of rubber thing on a stick. And you'll see different uh, sizes. This is, uh, you know, kind of medium size for this gong. Uh, I didn't have a little super ball. Ideally, I'd want a real kind of gummier kind of rubber, and I didn't have anything. What I did is I took an old mallet, I took it off the wooden handle, I put it on a, um, what is this, like a barbecue skewer, and then I took the fingertip off a rubber glove, one of those latex gloves, and I put it on here. So kind of like you could do it with a balloon, I guess, and then I cleaned it because those things come with a little powder on it. So I cleaned it off to make it uh, stickier, and I also, in rubbing it on the gong, got some rosin on it, which I think helps make it grip. But I want to say this is not my first choice, but it'll be good enough for the demo. So here's the sound, and this is a softer sound, so I'm going to turn up this mic over here um, so you can hear it better. But here's the sound of the, of the Super Bowl. We'll just call it the Rubber Ball or the Super Bowl. And again, you can see there's lots of potential there. If you have different size balls, even really tiny, <laughs> and they might be blue, you know, you never know. Uh, if you get different size super balls, um, you can get different tones. Every one, every one of these different um, implements, as you notice with the, with the caps, it brings out different frequencies. So it's not just about the gong itself or the instrument, it's about how you're playing it, what you're playing it with, the amount of pressure you're applying, um, this is really, believe it or not, now I know it's, these are not supposed to be beautiful sounds, these are supposed to be creepy and even annoying or scary sounds, but all of this is a musical uh, process. And as a musician, you know, I'm using my same skills that I might use to play something beautiful, but I'm using the same skills in this case to get sounds, you know, to, to uh, harvest those sounds, you know, mining. I think of it as like mining for sounds. <laughs> This is the uh, area, but I have to dig them out. Okay, now, one other thing that's pretty um, pretty simple, but still kind of effective, and I think it, it could fall into the creepy category, is to put a chain. Uh, this is just off of a lamp uh, light that I bought that I'm not using this, so I'm gonna let this hang over the front, and I'm just gonna kind of do that. And then I'll strike the gong. Uh, I can even, you know, use the Super Bowl again, but um, yeah, actually, let's start with the Super Bowl thing. And then this will add a little bit of sizzle to it. Okay, so that's just more of a sound effect. Nothing super technical, but I wanted to show you that. The last one is the one I'm most excited about, actually, um, because you've heard this sound and you may not have known it. You may not have known what it is, but if you've watched any kind of scary TV show or movie, uh, especially you know when they used to make more sound effects by actual musicians instead of computers, I guarantee you've heard this. Um, it uses this, which I just got. Uh, on Amazon. It's a cheap cello bow. It's a student cello bow. It comes in this fancy case, which I'm going to use because this is a once in a while instrument or implement for me. So I got this cello bow and believe it or not, a lot of percussionists, we use cello bows to play different instruments, including gongs, cymbals, 
vibraphone, other mallet instruments, all sorts of different kinds of metal sounds, usually. Uh, and so I got the bow, I got the rosin. I actually had to watch a video on how to rosin up a bow for the first time. So I put some rosin on here, and I'm gonna have to stand up for this one, so I'm gonna be a little out of the shot, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the bow across the edge up here. I'll see if I can get it more in the shot down here, but I need to stay up near where the uh, gong is suspended so that it's not moving around because I have to apply pressure. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up now. I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> but just listen to the sound of bowed gong. I think the last one was a good one. I'm gonna keep experimenting. I'm gonna play a little bit and get some uh, good takes on these. And then I'm gonna put these all together with a few other instruments like this really cool Mexican whistle and this thing, which is also a really weird sound. I don't even know what that's called. Um, but I have some whistles and I'm gonna put together this soundtrack, like I mentioned earlier for um, a Halloween, like a spooky, Halloween video or soundtrack. And then for patrons, for patrons of the channel, I will give you guys that MP3 file when it's finished. So you can have it, you can share it, uh, maybe learn from it. Um, so we're gonna mix that all together, all right? So that's a few spooky sounds you can get on gongs. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, if you get something out of this, please help support the channel. I uh, hope you guys appreciate that I do my best to give you really nice video and excellent audio with expensive equipment uh, and lighting and good production value. All of that costs money and time. If you appreciate that and you'd like to give back as a way of saying, hey, thanks, I appreciate what you're doing, please visit us at patreon.com slash Kalani. And you can sign up to be a supporter for the cost of a fancy cup of coffee per month, and you can actually end up winning some uh, premiums and prizes and get other things that you don't get here for free on YouTube. We really appreciate that, and at the very least, if you could just click that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell if you'd like to get notifications, uh, that would be much appreciated. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm Kalani, this is World Drum Club. I'll see you in a future video.